Hey everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin'. I'm so excited to be a part of the Simple Treasures Crafter Circle Mother's Day event. Um, I'm just gonna find myself down here on my computer while y'all are coming in. Welcome to everybody. If you're watching on replay, be sure to comment hashtag replay. Hello, Angela. Hey, are you ready next? I'm going to throw it over to you after this. Um, just trying to get over here to find where... There's me. Okay, let's get going so I can see your comments better. Who else is here? Hi, Susan and Marjorie. I am feeling better, Marjorie. Um, not 100% yet, but that's all right. Hi, Diane. I'm too excited about this to... I rested up for this. So there's Carol and Sue. If you're new here to my page, please let me know and welcome. I hope you'll take a look around um, <clears throat> later tonight when the other ladies are done and see if we have anything that you uh, enjoy and maybe maybe hang out here for a while. I know, Sherry, I heard about the snow. Uh, we've got a freeze war a frost warning, not a freeze warning, a frost warning tonight. So did I miss here? I've got to say hi to my friends. Hi, artists. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. There's my sister, Moidal. Hey, and my other sister, Anne-Marie. Oh, y'all come in. Miss Judy from the Crafty House is here. Well, this is going to be fun, y'all. Hi, Libby and Betty and Melody. Oh, fun. Um, you know, when they told us what the um, theme for this event was going to be, I thought, oh me, I don't know, I don't know. And so I just kept thinking about my mom and my grandmothers and my mother-in-law and all the moms in the world and um, something that might be a little different. Hey, Amanda, Amanda from Amanda Maid is here too. There's my sweet Aunt Lana. Oh, um, thank y'all so much. Uh, you need to, Penny. I know. Hey, Gail, don't let the, the frost or the snow get your new blooms. So I was thinking about how my grandmother, um, my maternal grandmother, collected salt and pepper shakers. I know a lot of ladies used to do that, and some still do. Um, and so that was the first thing that kind of came to my mind. And I also, um, for the first Simple Treasures event I ever did... It was for Christmas. It was the 12 days of Christmas, and I used my um, mother-in-law's old wooden um, spools. And so I thought I might even try that, but this one is one of my mother's. Hey, Norma. Um, I'm trying to, I'm going to go back and read all the comments, but I just wanted to get going because I know we've got 40 minutes, and I tried to prep and get ready as best I could, but I went to some thrift stores, didn't have any luck there, but um, had great luck at Southern Vintage Company where I have a booth here in Bartlett. So I would suggest like antique malls. Um, I'm sure there are thrift stores that have might have just sad little lonely one salt shaker or one pepper shaker or something. You don't need both for this. But these are just some examples of what I found. I love birds, y'all, and these just these cute little birds are so adorable, and I love the shape of this, and of course, I have my, my spool, but in preparation, what we're going to do tonight, hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to make a couple of these uh, for you in different, uh, uh, two different ways, but what we're going to do is we're going to take our, let me see which one this went with, I got to make sure I get the right one with the right one. Let me start over here. Okay. So, you, all you need, I try to do, hey, Wendy, I try to do crafts uh, with things that are pretty easily accessible. I know most people can find an old salt or pepper shaker, I would imagine. If you can't, even, uh, I'm going to show you another way to do it with just a uh, a little, you know, porcelain or ceramic piece that you find at a, a thrift store. And I thought it would be kind of nostalgic for the moms. They might enjoy it. But what I did is I took some yarn. And Anne-Marie, if you're on here, I even got into some of your yarn stash that I found in your 
dresser or chest of drawers in our guest room <laughs> and used it because I needed this color. And I just tried to match. Shirley, I've been having a terrible time with that. It just, oh, it makes me so mad. Um, and it, I only saw it happen with Carol. By the way, was that not such a cute craft with those little shovels and the, I've got to find those um, metal flowers. She just did an awesome job. I uh, know, Suki, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. We do have weather coming, but um, the wind is blowing really bad. I just hope, y'all, no, I don't want this to happen. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry, y'all. Did you hear that? Mm, don't know what that was. Hello. Oh, the, okay. I'm trying to remember the new people that were from Rowena May Designs. I even studied. Um, oh, what was your name? <laughs> I'm so sorry. You know, the, the camera comes on and your brain just leaves the building. Thank you, Kathy. But anyway, here's what we're doing. I'm just going to pretend it's it's not acting up for me and um, I'm going to go on about my business here of finding. Let me see where it is. You know what, y'all? We're going to start with, I've got so much stuff. I was so organized. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so all I did was take a little bit of this. It's just the wire that I had here, 10 pound galvanized wire, um, just because it's really pliable. And I just cut a, a long st strip of it. I bent it in half, took my needle nose pliers and made just a little um, loop at the top just like that and what i'm gonna do um oh i'm sorry emory all i said was that i, I borrowed some of your yarn <laughs> now all we're gonna do the way this one is lined up it's got three little holes in the top and i'm just going to stick that little wire down in two different holes and thread them through the bottom now there are several different ways you can do this. And I'm gonna show you on a couple of different ones. Um, this is the way I've, I've been practicing on these since the weekend. And um, so far this has been the easiest way for me. But anyway, you're gonna just do your simple, um, just like you were making a tassel. I wrapped it around and around and around. I stuck some little black rickrack in there too. Tied it with a little piece of jute. And now all I'm going to do is lay this right in the middle here and twist this wire as tightly as I can. Yeah, I'm not giving it back. Not all of it. <laughs> I'm using some of it because it was the right colors. Okay. Now look, look how simple this is, y'all. Obviously, I'm going to cut off the excess wire that's in there. Hi, Mary. And we've got a little vintage tassel. Now, you can take this to another level and, you know, decorate around the edges, which we're going to do on some others. But I wanted to show you real simply just what we're doing here. Then you'll want to, of course, give it a haircut. I think I left my fabric scissors. Yeah, I have my special fabric scissors that can't be used on anything else. And we're just going to trim that even and puff it out. You can put as much as you want to. June, welcome. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. And just make a cute little tassel. We take a little bit of ribbon, loop it through there. You could use jute if you wanted to. And, you know, if you have, if you're lucky enough to have one of your grandmother's um, salt and pepper shakers that you could do this for your mom or even for your daughter, you know, or granddaughter for a keepsake, there's a little bit of, you know, family in there. If, if you don't 
have any that you know are are um, from your family from family heirlooms. Uh, that doesn't matter. A mom may love this. She can hang it from, you know, wherever you'd hang a tassel. On any knob, uh, a light switch, whatever. So, let's go a little bigger here. Let me move over to another one. This one I had a good time with. And where's the shaker? Shaker, shaker. Did I set it up here? Here it is. <laughs> I put it in this little cup. Okay, now on this one, they all are so different, and this one lends itself well to buttons. These are my grandmother's vintage buttons that I was lucky enough to get. And I already got my wire ready for this one. Oh, no notifications. Thank you, Marjorie. Y'all are so sweet. Um, okay, and on this one, this has the S on the top, and I just chose the two holes. No, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself. What I did was I found three, um, of my grandmother's vintage buttons that one was large, one medium, and one small. So I'm starting with the small one, and I'm going to thread it through the little, thread the, uh, wire through the little holes of the button and roll it up to the top. Hi, Dee, welcome. Oh, and there's Elizabeth. Oh, thank you for the star, sweetie. You're so sweet, thank you. Um, yes, cute, cute ornaments, right, Brenda? I think so, too. All right, so we've got a button on here. Let's go with the medium one. And again, just a little bit of my grandmother on here. Even though this is not one of her salt shakers, um, I found this at Southern Vintage as well. I found some great ones there, y'all. Um, but there's still a little bit of my grandmother on here. All right, so here's what we have at the top. You can do this with beads if you want to. Um, I just didn't have any beads. I used to have beads and I gave them to my, I gave all of them when I moved out here to my, um, bead making, I mean my jewelry making friend, never thinking I would be using them again. And uh, now on this one, I remember as I was practicing, it's a little harder. You got to work with thread, getting that um, wire to come out the bottom. Let me see here. Oh, thank you, Charlotte. Kalina, apparently I am having some connectivity issues or Facebook is. I am not sure which it is. Uh, every time I've gone live lately, I mean like the past two or three times, we've had this trouble and I've seen some of the other crafters dealing with it. So I don't know what's going on, but it's certainly frustrating for y'all watching and for us who are trying to, to bring something to you. Oh, do you? It's too much work to fill them in, on the holidays. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. You could just shop your stash and maybe do something like this. So now I've pulled it all the way through. And you see how it looks with the little buttons on top? You could. Um, no, uh, this one is, isn't. Oh, shoot. It. Let me be real still for a second. It's a salt shaker. And I have um, put three of my grandmother's vintage buttons on the top with some wire. This will be our little loop for a hanger. Thanks, Melanie. So I got out, you know, everything I could find that seemed to go with the color of the salt shaker. We've got my sister's yarn again. These are strips of muslin that I just tore. Simple, simple, y'all. You're just making a basic tassel, some um, vintage-looking Dollar Tree ribbon. Come on out of there. Right there. You know, just anything, you, you know, the sky's the limit. You can, you can go search around your house for all kinds of goodies uh, that you rickrack. Um, y'all will come up with a pom-poms. Again, I'm going to show you another way to do this, but I just wanted to show you a couple like this first. 
So we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get that this between that wire that we threaded through, just like this. Oh, see that those buttons hold it too right there. And we're just gonna twist the wire to hold it in there. Thanks, Rita. Thank you. I was hoping it would be, I wanted to try to bring something a little different, you know, and, um, well, there's Lindy Farmer. Hey, I haven't been seeing you, girl. I'm so happy you're here. Oh, Agnes, it's, it's acting a fool tonight. It just is acting a fool. Makes me so mad. So, you can make it as fluffy and dangly as you want, or, you know, go a little more conservatively if you want to but again let me trim down this wire that's hanging down the in the middle here with my little well where'd i put those I gotta have all my tools there they are right where they're supposed to be all right we're gonna trim this down and then we're gonna take this and give it a haircut but i kind of wanted this this is a much bigger salt shaker, so I wanted this to hang um, longer and be fuller. Hey, Cheryl. Oh, good, Sherry. Good, good, good. I can't wait to see y'all's. And listen, I have a group, Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs, and we get to share all, all the crafts that you're doing, you know, whatever they are, share a little bit of everything, and I would love for y'all to join that too. It's a lot of fun, sweet, sweet ladies. So there you have it. You just put your um, little ribbon through the top and you've got a cute, cute vintage um, tassel that's just a little bit, you know, brings it up a notch. It's a little bit more elegant, you know. You could make them really full. Let's look at the, let me show you. Before I do the really big one, because I, I was practicing, Oh, you're so sweet, Jody. Y'all are just the best. I love y'all. This was the first one I made. It's a little scary. It needs a little work. But that shaker, y'all, look how cute. I'm going to work on this one a little bit more. But you see, I used fabric and ribbon and jute and some eyelash yarn that I found at Dollar Tree on that one. It already had this... Um, ribbon hanger on it, but it's a salt and pepper shaker. It's got the holes in the top. Um, Kalina, all I did was thread wire through the holes in the top. I made a little loop in the top so it wouldn't go all the way through and threaded it through the bottom and then made the tassel and wrapped the ribbon around the middle of the tassel. So that's where this one is. This was one I did first. You know, so that's that. Now here's one I did, I love this one. I mean, I love this little bird. I think this one needs way more, but I've got this one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on him because I just think it's so cute. I'm bird crazy anyway, but I loved this yarn. Found this yarn at um, Hobby Lobby. So there's that one. Now let me show you what it looks like if you use a uh, spool. I took the spool and had um, some, I have old vintage hymnals that I collect for art. And so I just cut a strip from this and I Mod Podged it onto um, the spool. My grandmother's buttons at the top. And then this, you know, it was just all this fun yarn and um, Dollar Tree ribbon. And I just think this one, this one really makes me happy. Really makes me happy. So, there's one of them. <laughs> and here's the last one. Now, this is more whimsical. You know, I have to have some whimsy. Look at this salt shaker I found all by himself at Southern Vintage. There was just one. Hey, Hildy. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. And there's my nephew, Michael. Oh, you're so sweet. Thanks, sweetie. Um, but the, these are, um, this is actually four of my grandmother's vintage buttons. There was a metal one and then a wooden one and two really old, old, uh, buttons on top. 
but he just makes me happy. There's this cool yarn. Anne Marie, this was some of your yarn too. <laughs> Um, and you know, just some old ribbon that I had there. And so I just think they turn out so fun. But if you don't have a salt and pepper shaker, I had this bird that I've had for a million years, really, really a million years. And I'm thinking I may have gotten him at Kirkland's a long, long time ago. It was a set of two. Tried painting, um, the other one. Just, I'm no good at that. So... That was a long time ago. I tried, tried painting the other one. But this one is perfect for this big, over-the-top tassel-making fun we're about to do here. And it just so happens that this little condiment cup, I buy these, a big pack of these at Target to mix, um, like, if you want to mix up some of your... Um, acrylic paint with water to make a stain. It's perfect for that and you pop a lid on it or, you know, hold little things in it. Do you really? Torso art. Okay, good. Well, you're ahead of the game. Oh, ooh, and a white one would just be awesome, I think. I think in neutrals it would be so pretty. But y'all, I want you to see how perfectly that fit on the bottom. You're just going to need some sort of little um, container like this to put at the, to make as your base on your bird or whatever. I'll tell you this, um, they're little, they're, they're like salt and pepper shakers, but they're not. I found these porcelain women at Southern Vintage. They're little bitty, but they stop right here. And I'm sure, you know, you vintage lovers have seen them before. They're little bitty. But you could do this with them and make a whole full skirt with tulle and ribbon and I can imagine like pearls and stuff. It would be so adorable. So I've got to go back and try to find those again and, and try that because I'm hooked on this. All right, we're just going to take a mixture of if you've got E6000 or um, anything like, you know, super glue. I've got Gorilla Glue any all-purpose glue, and I'm just gonna run that around one, one side. And on the other side, I'm gonna do the hot glue. Not gonna let them touch. And um, so it'll go on and start holding for us right away, but then it'll have long-term hold too. Okay. Now, we're gonna put this little bird right onto that cup. And then what I did was I went ahead and made this crazy big tassel thing just out of what I had. It's got a little bit of rickrack, um, eyelash yarn, muslin, chenille, Dollar Tree ribbon, a little bit of everything. Just grab everything you got. Uh, Joan, I was thinking, hey, Lori, I was thinking, you know, you can hang them from any handle knob um, on the front of a, um, a chest of drawers, um, from a light switch, anywhere you would hang a tassel. Okay, now on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to glue this tassel right up in here in the middle. I haven't practiced with this. This was the only bird I had. So, and I think there'll be a couple of things you can do with this. You don't just have to hang this one because in my mind, it's there's another way you could do it if you wanted to. Well, we're going to see how this turns out. Hope it's not a flop. All right, I'm just going to hold that in place for just a minute. Windows, yes, absolutely. Um, just wherever, you know, you would hang a decorative tassel from. So we've got that up in there, but you obviously don't want this little cup to show. So what we're gonna start doing, and I kind of cut this ahead of time. I don't know if it's gonna be enough to go around all the way, but little strips of um, just a little ribbon I had. I found this whole 
container of ribbon at, um, it's eight ribbons at Walmart that coordinate with each other. I have loved this so much. So I just chose two of those that I thought looked good. Hi, Esther. Oh, Julie, you're so sweet. That's too sweet. Uh, if you knew the week I'd had. What I'm going to start doing, let me, let me just, let me get started and show you. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue right here. I'm going to stick this ribbon here. And we're going to just do a loop of it. Watch my time. Okay, we're going to do this all the way around. Just these little loops. And I'm going to alternate that ribbon with this little ribbon. Let me hold it out here where you can see. Okay. Thank you, Sharon. And see, if you can tell, I'm just going halfway up on my little plastic cup. I'll show you why here in a second, because we're just going to keep building on this to make this like an epic tassel. I think it, I wish I had had some I don't know, that really fringy, fuzzy kind of yarn. I couldn't find any the other day when I was shopping for the yarn for it. And then, you know, y'all know, I've been down for the count for a couple of days with a stupid sinus infection. So I didn't get to go shopping anymore. So it forced me to really um, look around and use whatever I have around here. So I guess that's a good thing. I seem to keep going out and buying more supplies and I need to be using up what I have. Makes you get creative, right? It hasn't so far, Sarah. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Cross your fingers. We'll see. So I am just, this is all I'm doing, going around with these little loops. Oh, Jody, you're so sweet. Yeah, you know what I do? Torso art, I don't know your actual name, so forgive me. Hey, Rebecca, thank you. Um, what I've been making myself do lately is right, before I start to throw something away, um, I try to force my mind to come up with something that I can make out of it. I think the more we use our creativity, um, the better it gets. Does that make sense? You know, you the more creative you get. So I've been, if you follow my page, um, you know that I've been playing with my empty uh, Starbucks cold brew plastic containers. I made a vase out of the first one, and then I made a fairy house out of the second one. So it just kind of makes you uh, um, think outside the box a little bit. Hey, Marlene. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Carrie. Um, and who said they were glad I was feeling better? That's sweet. Sharon, thank you so much. Um, and so I did the same with cans. I've been doing the same with cans, trying to come up with uh, all different things that I can create from trash to treasure, you know. Hey, Barbara, I'm glad to see you too. We're just, we're making our way around here. And you're thinking, Lindy, that looks like garbage. What, what are you doing? Where are you going with this? Thank you, Judy. I'm crazy. You just, I do a lot of poking around Pinterest to get me started, you know. And then you've got to, um, Make it your own. Agnes, you are the queen of that. I'm telling you, you can make anything look beautiful. You inspire me so much. And I, it just, it really does thrill me even more if it's something that would have been thrown away or that somebody else threw away. It just, I get so excited to, to save it and make it something nice. Okay, I need to cut some more. I didn't quite cut enough, so. I, th I think so too, Carmela. I'm so glad I have a use for it. Now, I've had it forever. I decorated with it for a million years. There were two of them together, and I just love little birds. 
Um, thank you, Patricia. They're, uh, they're still giving me fits, but I, I don't, I, I could not function the past two days, but I also wanted to, uh, I wanted to rest up to feel good for today. Now my nose is itching. All right. So I think we're getting close. We're getting close. Okay. Can you hear it, Sharon? Ours is, um, I mean, the wind is howling now. It's supposed to go down to, I think, 37 tonight here. Yeah, it's, you know, when you can shop from your own stash, that's so much fun. Agnes, I, yeah, I agree. And, um, you know, if, if, you're, if you grew up and your family didn't have a lot of excess money like mine, you know, you do have to be a little more resourceful. And, oh, my, my maternal grandmother especially was. She didn't throw anything away. Both of them lived through the Depression, so they were very, very frugal. And um, so you could ask my sister in love how practical I am about stuff. When we go shopping, oh, she can get so mad at me because <laughs> I'm too practical. Uh, oh, welcome, Joanne. I hope you'll like it here. I hope you'll take a, a peek around um, later tonight or tomorrow uh, when the other crafters aren't on because we've got to we got to watch all our simple treasures ladies they have been bringing it i mean it has been so much fun everybody is having a horrible connection i am so sorry i think this is gonna turn out just the right amount here I could have done that ahead of time, but you know, you want to see this. Okay. Oh gosh. I got to hurry. I got to hurry. I got to hurry. Cause I want you to see this finished. That 40 minutes, it goes by fast y'all. Is that too long? Yes. Let me just fix this real quick. Cause I want to put this last little bit on it after this. And, um, hi Dawn. Uh, I'm just so mad because I, I thought, you know, I want y'all to be able to see this one. I think it's a fun one. I think it might be one you'd want to do for yourself or for your mom or grandmother. Oh, really, Amanda? You're, I noticed mine was fine for Carol, but I don't think anybody else had a problem for Carol either. And I didn't have any problems last night watching. I'm going to have to give this a haircut, of course. Okay, so here's what we have here. So we've got that layer. Now, look what I've got. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so to cover up the rest of this, look y'all, we are going to wrap. Hey, Ma. Hey, I'm live. Okay. <laughs> There's my son, Chris, Hi, come on here. <laughs> There's only 230 people watching, it's oh, okay. Hey, guys. <laughs> Oh, me. I was stopping to get some potato soup. I got to go back to work. Oh, okay. Okay. Y'all have fun. Okay. Thank you for popping in. Mm -hmm. That's my son, Chris. <laughs> He's usually at work when I'm live, so I was surprised to see him. Okay. So, how do I want to do this? Very delicately because my little my little cup's not sticking good. Wait, let me, let me do a little bit more hot glue, y'all. Facebook does not limit our time, but for this event, uh, because we like to give y'all five minutes to kind of, you know, do what you need to do, freshen up, get a drink of water or whatever, uh, between crafters. So this one is a, <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> He's funny. Okay. So I think I've got until, um, thank you, D until 6:25. So, let me I'm just going to hold this and right cross your fingers and toes for me. And um cuz I've got to go so that y'all can um watch Angela next from Word and Home. All right, I'm going to add a little little hot glue or a lot of hot glue right here. 
and we're gonna stick that there and kind of wrap it around now when you're doing this of course you can um, you can do the gluing do all e6000 and set it let it set overnight and then work with it that would be the ideal thing to do but since i was on a time crunch and i really wanted to show you every step of this one i had to kind of rush it through but that'll give you all the gist okay and we're going to cut it right there move that tassel i want to cut that tassel okay and glue this end Really, Dana? Uh, yeah, the, this bird one or the salt shaker bird one? I want to know. Okay. So, what? So, you can just keep adding to this. We can cut some of this off. You could put a bow back here. And the way this one's made, I lucked out because I could just uh, thread ribbon through here on the top and make it a hanging tassel. This is bugging me. I've got to trim this bottom up a little bit. You could really, really make this, fill up this whole cup on the bottom, you know, on the bottom here and make it a really fluffy one to make it look like, uh, sort of like a nest and get one of those, um, well, I just drew a blank what we're using now all this other candlestick holders and you know fluff out this bottom part if you make it really fluffy and sit it on top of the candle holder and it'll look like you can make it look like a um a nest kind of you know decorate it all up or just you know hang it like i said you could hang it but you can keep let me show you on where's my other little guy on this little guy, I was thinking, as I was going through all my ribbon. Oh, Elizabeth, I've got to see those. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my goodness. I'm sure there's some doozies in there. But I had this in my stash, and it's got little pearls on it. And this is such a delicate little bird. Why couldn't you do this? You know, just like I did this last big bird, you know, around the bottom. Well, let's imagine this in the back. Like that, you know, just like a cute little, um, another little layer. But y'all, like you always do, you, your minds get going. And I know I'll see um, so many great ideas. Y'all. I know I'm gonna lose you. I lost power. I've gotta see if y'all come back. Yeah, I was close. I think I got it all done, but Did you lose them? Yeah. Yeah, they're gone. I think are y'all gone? Are you here? Yes, yes, Amanda, that's right. If you can hear me, <laughs> let me know. Okay, I can't tell. We lost power, but it came back on. Um, I, mm, it's not coming back down here, so I don't know. It's back on. You lose your Facebook? Will you go check it on your phone or something and see if I'm live still? Can anybody tell me? I'm here. Okay. Am I still here, Melanie? Good. Okay. I don't know if y'all saw it, but the power went out on me. Um, and so I lost my internet connection down here, but apparently I didn't on my phone. So I'm sorry, y'all. Um, but it is 624. So I'm going to go. Thanks for hanging in with all the tech technical difficulties. I had so much fun with y'all. I hope you'll come back and hang, hang out with me at four o'clock Thursday at my usual time. And uh, go see Angela at Word and Home. Be sure to give her a follow. You'll see her 